Hello there, this is my update video for uh, the Pico Kalk, Zero Kalk. It's about some questions I have from the viewers and also uh, some update on the case and also some uh, modification, additional modification I want to do with this board. First of all, the case is nearly finished. As you can see now, uh, we have access to the GPIO. Then uh, SD card access, HDMI, and also added again the, the USB board. So this helps then to connect. If you look at this one, you can see the HDMI fits now fine. You can also put in an HDMI cable, I've tested this. Then you have best, better access to the SD card slot. And of course, we have them here the USB port. So I think the case is nearly finished. I will publish this definitely this week. The next thing we have discussion about uh, is why we cannot use other boards. For example, I have here uh, the Raska 03W. As you can see, I have here a chunky heatsink. So this is the first constraint, if you think about it, because this gets really hot, really fast, if it's under load, and this is five millimeter. And maybe it's also <laughs> recommended not to have only a heatsink, so also a fan, so that it will not fit here. And I think also the power requirement for this is quite high, so I'm not sure. But even if it works fine, then uh, you have to do uh, the work that the guy on on the forum has done for uh, the software. You have then to do it yourself. So you have to write them the scripts for ambient or other system that's that's working on this processor. This is also valid for all the other SPCs in zero form. So you have to write the drivers in yourself. So. So what we're doing today, I have done for the Luckfox Lyra mod. This has here a USB board. I have done a USB adapter, as you can see here. And this should fit in the case, like in the Luckfox Lyra case. And the point is uh, on the zero by, wait a moment, I zoom in. On the zero pi, you see you have a D plus and D negative. That means this USB port can be routed then to this one. You then only need only a faucet and a ground. And here I have an adapter cable. So basically, all I need to do is to solder these two wires to these beds down there, and the other wires to uh, forces and ground. Okay, let's do some preparation. We know that the board should end up here. So for the cable length, this is sufficient. So we can cut this cable quite short. I would cut it until here and leave some rooms for, for stripping the wires and so on. Okay, let's start. Now let's cut the wire and strip it. Why we need this connector is because if this is soldered here then you cannot put this back in again. So I use now the Luckfox Lyra board to check out what is what because it's volt, D minus, D plus and ground. You can now write what is what. You can now see red is voltage, black is D minus, yellow is D plus, and white is ground. So if you take now the other connector. 
So as you can see, red remains the same. Black is black, this is also okay. Yellow is yellow. The only thing is that white gets green. So this is our layout. Now on to soldering. Okay, let's start with thinning the beds. So now I have my old trusty helping hand. Okay, let's try to solder it. Black, as you can see on the sheet, is T minus. Yellow is T plus. We have here T negative and T plus. So let's arrange it. It seems I have hit here the ground plane, so move it a little out of the way. So, next one, 5 volt and ground. The red one is 5 volt. Okay, let's test it if it's working. Let's connect the USB adapter. So. Using a VLAN stick doesn't matter, we have v uh, Wi Fi on. On the spot, but only to see if it's recognizing it. So let's start it. Let's connect. So you see, the USB, I put it in, see this if it detects it. Yeah, here we have the metal card. So the USB is working. That's nice. So let's continue. So I have here some Capton date tape. Let's put it on. Let's stick it on. Only to be this on the safe side because of the SD card ground here. Connected. So it's connected. Put it in. in. So be careful again because of the screen. So now it's in. Ah, don't forget to remove the SD card because it sticks out and it will break if you add the case here. So now I have put it together. As you can see the USB port, SD card slot is here. Wait a moment. As you can see, HDMI is here. It's fine. Here. So let's put in the batteries. First of all, we want to get put in the uh, SD card. As you can see, let's put it in this way. So, is it? Yes. So, now it's in. As you can see, I have here done some uh, free space so I can put it out again and in again. So, let's start and see if it still works. Okay, it still works, it's fine. Now let's check out the HDMI port if it's this working. Okay, I have now connected my video capture device and let's see if the HDMI is working. So let's try connect it. So I can connect it here. Start it up. See if something is happening. Ah, it looks good. You can see already a screen. There's a big cursor. Aha, uh -huh, it 
interesting. So let's see. I'll connect the wireless mouse. See if this works. Yeah, it's working. So what you can see, uh, there's a problem. We have a quite uh, low resolution HDMI output. This is because we have only one frame buffer and I'm not sure how to fix this. I have checked in the internet some sites and so, but uh, I have not found a solution yet. Maybe somebody or someone from my views can help me. So. If you have any ideas, then please post it in the uh, clockwork forums and see if you find a solution. But as you can see, the HDMI is also working currently. So what I'm going make last refinements for the case and we'll publish it tomorrow or the day after. And yeah, that's for day, today also, as you can see, the USB is working fine, so I can now use a mouse, so a small wireless mouse, and you can also add a keyboard, and it would be a nice feature if you can have a higher resolution screen here, so you can use it more or less than in talking mode or something like that, that you can use a real big screen and add a Bluetooth or wireless keyboard and mouse to it. So that's, that's all for today. Uh, thanks you for watching and I keep you updated. Bye bye.